You can't believe everything that you see. Even people are sometimes just a figment of your imagination. Sometimes you're not as innocent as you think you are. The answers lie deeper in the mind. <laughs> and you really have to be careful. Because sometimes the monster is really inside you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Last Yandere. This is, I believe, the first game that was actually uploaded and published by Absur or their series. Now, that doesn't mean it's the first game in the chronological order. I haven't fully determined the chronological order of the series yet because I'm still working through the games, but I believe that this is the second game in the chronological order because in protodairy.ness, we know that Kara Genter's mother was in the game. And this game features Kara Genter I'm assuming as she became a Yandere. Now, the term Yandere, at first I originally thought just meant, you know, the normal thing of an anime where they're a kind of psychopathic and kill to protect the ones they love. No, we, it was actually mentioned in Dairy.exe, but I didn't fully understand it. But in the last game that we played, Sorority Rights, we learned that in the Absur series here, in the Rothstein Institute or the Absur Institute, I'm not fully sure which is which or if there's even a difference at this time, that there was a program called the Yandere program where they made those biomechanical weapons. Like, she, she's bioengineered to be a Yandere, which is a killer instrument of war, apparently. And that's what they were talking about in Dairy.exe, where she killed people, a bunch of people in a town. I'm not sure why. I don't think they specified why in the first game, but I'm assuming because a Yandere is assigned a person that they love completely and truly, something happened to her senpai and she went on a rampage. But this game should answer those questions. A, about her, how Kara Genter became a Yandere and B, why she killed so many people and I guess C, potentially how she ended up in the games. So let's get started. Chapter one. I am a survivor. Three years ago, I lost my memories. Of course, I didn't remember how. It could have been a car crash, a great fall, or maybe it's a case of me forgetting because I didn't want to remember. The real reason? A tumor, as I've been told. This is Lilith's brother. We learned in Sorority Rights as well that Lilith's brother went into the mansion and the Tri-Nemesis, or as I used to call it because I had no idea what the hell it was, the mothership, <laughs> gave him a tumor-like device in his head. But we don't know why, so obviously this is him. It was an inoperable brain tumor. Normally, I'd have zero chance of survival. There she is, right there, fortunately. My sister had connections with this huge organization. It was an organization that involved several corporations, Rochstein and Absor, I'm assuming. They had access to technologies that public wasn't aware of. They told me they could save me. So these brain surgeons and scientists did some out-of-the-box procedures on me. And today, I walk this earth cancer-free. I was grateful for my second life even though I had forgotten about the first one. Recently, one of the companies involved with this organization asked me to participate in a test of sorts. They said I was the only viable candidate for the test at the time. The test to control the Utrai Nemesis because it gave him the tumor. I agreed. I did owe them my life after all. Ha <laughs> ha! There it is! Okay. It was cool, actually. All I had to do was touch this giant triangular thing. And if I was able to make it fly using my mind. If I succeed, it meant their Neuralink tech was feasible. Basically, telepathic communication with electronic devices, which we know the Trinemesis gave him and now he can control it. But why? Eventually, this could lead to things like texting without using hands, 
or drawing on tablets by just staring at the screen. Imagine playing video games with your mind. Games like Proto Dare would be so much easier. So this is guaranteed after Proto Dare. Unfortunately, the technology seems to only be compatible to me at the moment. So all hope for the tech is on me, which means it might fail. When I made that triangular thing fly, they were ecstatic. But when it came to weapons testing, I couldn't make it work. They said I lacked a killer instinct. So that's why they made the Yandere's. They were always trying to make them compatible with the Tri-Nemesis by giving them a natural killer instinct. They said I lacked a killer instinct. I didn't know if it was a joke or not. I'm a bit of a wimpy guy. Eventually, they sent me on their way, but they do mail me free medicine to suppress the possible regrowth of my tumor. So here I am, a product of misfortune. But now, I am stronger. I am hungry. Perhaps it was the brain damage, but I found my calling as a designer. A graphic designer that's talented, but flops at his design pitches. Were you involved with making the Dairy games? Despite beating all these challenges, I still couldn't overcome my stage fright. Stage fright and lack of confidence overall. Both pains in my love life and career. But I am confident in my graphic design. November 18th, 2017. All these games do have dates. And this date is after sorority rights, which is weird because I was certain that this was before. Because I thought I think sorority rights was in 2014. I'm going to have to go back. I am planning. I'll give a little spoiler alert for future videos. After I go through all the games and read the story uh, that Appster has released, I am planning on making a theory video. And I'm trying to piece everything together as is. I might make a script for that video or I might just improvise it. Who knows? But I am going to have to go back, look at all the games, look at the dates, organize those, and work on my theory. But I'm still certain that this is technically before sorority rights. Jeez, are you planning on using that sap story for your pitch? Hey sis, I didn't know you'd be home early. Well, I'm glad I did. Word of advice, little bro. If you're going to sell yourself, focus on you. No one really cares about your story. That's a lie. That's a little harsh. People only care about what you can do for them. It's a fact of life. I'm sorry, sis. It's just that that's the story I'm most confident to tell. People don't care about huge organizations or any of these magic science voodoo unless it affects their lives directly. Oh, and about what you said about not being confident. Don't tell them that. Are you trying to win over Absur or not? Nah? Hey. So he is trying to work for Absur. Courting a company is like courting a girl. You have to show value. Give them a reason to want you. Act like the prize. You're the catch. You think they'll hire you out of pity? Oh, and speaking of courting, get a girl. You know we can't be the last members of our family. You're not, unless Venice hasn't actually been born yet. You're her aunt, so... Hmm. You don't remember, but our family has a sort of legacy. It needs to live on. You can't put all the stakes on me. That's too much pressure. Fun idea. But you get better at it, too. You haven't had a boyfriend in years. Hey, at least I had relationships. Not like you, but I don't want to tease you any further. You need to be at your best state of mind now. You used to be great at this, but I bet there's a part of you that still is. Go after your dreams, brother. Don't let your dreams be dreams. So now I have to think about my job interview and meeting a potential life partner, too? Doesn't everybody? It's called adulting. It's a good mix of anxiety and, of course, excitement. Don't be afraid to go out of your comfort zone. I bet you're just asking this from me so I can finally move out, right? You're no longer a patient, right? You've been okay for years now. You're a big boy. I know you can do it. I guess you're right. I'll be gone a few weeks. Company outing. If you need anything, call me. Don't forget to take your medicine, okay? We don't want that pesky tumor coming back, do we? Good luck, little brother. Go get your dream job. I bid my sister farewell and I walk anxiously to Apser's address. However, 
I wasn't so sure where it was exactly. I feel an unexplainable urge to walk to the nearby cake shop. I decide to use the opportunity to walk in and ask for directions. Courage enter, hello. I didn't expect you to be here. I know you were on the cover, but I didn't think you'd be running a cake shop. Cake shop. Cake shop lady. Good morning. Would you like to buy a cake? They're all freshly baked and pretty tasty. Are, are you going to kill me if I say no thank you? I know there's bad endings to this game. No thank you. Why not? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I missed. Sorry, miss. Um, I came here to ask for directions to Absor office. I'm a little lost at the moment. Not really familiar with the area. Ah, what the heck. I'm gonna go back so I can see what she originally said. Alright, sorry about that. I did not mean to skip. So, they're all fresh and pretty tasty, so we're still gonna go with our original answer. We're not gonna change anything. No, thank you. Why not? What's the point of going to a cake shop if you're not going to buy cake? Sorry, miss. Um, I came here to ask for directions to the Absor office. I'm a little lost at the moment. Not really familiar with the area. Ah, what the heck. I'll buy one. Hope you can help me, though. Yeah. Yay! You're in for a treat! So, which flavor would you like? Strawberry or chocolate? I personally would go for strawberry. Thank you. Strawberry cheesecake is my favorite cake, and sometimes chocolate could just be a little too rich. Strawberry, because you like me very much? We just met, Kara. <laughs> Good one. You made my day. I really needed that. To be honest, I'm a little off today. I'm just not together. Why? What's happening? Big presentation, and it's for Absor Inc. You know where their office is? Oh, I know where their office is at. It's, um, the red orangish building across the bridge. Street. Across the street. So I'm not lost after all. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Thanks, miss. <laughs> oh yes, you're right where you're supposed to be. Close to me. I'm assuming then that Lilith's brother is her senpai. <laughs> You're really funny. Funny how? Like I'm a clown? I amuse you? Oh no, no, nothing like that. I'm just playing with you, silly. Good luck, sir. Enjoy your cake. Oh no, wait, don't go. Stay here. No, no, um, don't do that. Just go. Goodbye. Alright, so very clearly she's already been entered into the Yandere program. I head outside and see the building the cake shop lady told me about. I didn't realize Abster's office was so near. I checked my watch. 2 p.m. Still an hour early. Still had lots of time to spare. Had I realized earlier, I would have stayed a while longer. The cake shop lady was kind of cute. She's kind, too. She was really fun to talk to. Wonder if she's like that to every customer. I hope not. Maybe it was all sales talk. Building report is part of marketing, after all. Hmm. And that is exactly what I should be focusing on. Building report. Just that. No distractions. <sighs> but she was so cool, though. Maybe I should try to talk to her about it. But if I come back, she'll think I'm a creep customer or something. I'm sure she gets asked out all the time. She sees new faces every day, and I'm sure some of them have more guts than me. So maybe she got confidence from that. There should be a positive correlation between success and appeal. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, new game plan. I'll make up for this. Next time I see a cute girl, I'm gonna ask that girl out. It's a good practice for confidence building. A good way of networking. Plus, I gotta build new experiences too. Huh. For some reason, all this overthinking made me less nervous about my pitch with Absur. I don't think that's how it usually works. I enter Absur's conference hall. Looks like I got here a little too early. Who are you? Hello, what can I do for you? Are you here for a meeting? Ah, yes, I'm here for a meeting with Mr. Guerrero, the creator of the Dairy Games. This girl is so cute. I made a promise to myself. I have to ask this girl out. Oh, it's you. Didn't you get the text? We had to postpone the meeting. Text? I don't remember my phone ringing this afternoon. I checked my pockets and I couldn't find my phone. Oh no. Text? Oh no. I seem to have left my phone somewhere. That's too bad. I hope you find your phone soon. Pardon my manners. My name is Mia. Unfortunately, the Absur CEO missed his flight, so your meeting has been moved to tomorrow. Mia! 
was mentioned in Derrida.exe, I'm pretty sure, to have been killed by Kara. Huh. I don't have strong hopes for you, Mia. No problem. I'm available for tomorrow. Question is, are you? Are you available for a date? I'm afraid this isn't really professional of you, sir. Our relationship shall be business only, all right? Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't like these options. I think you're beautiful. Gotta admit, that would have worked on me, maybe at the club. But inside these sacred walls? No way. I have a reputation to keep. Sorry, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. It wasn't really proper of me. We just met. I hope you find someone, sir. The right girl for you. I would have said yes, but you were too forward. Damn it! And I can't go back to fix that unless I close the game. Sorry. See you at the meeting. Rejected. That was embarrassing. I hope she forgets that ever happened. Priorities. I need to understand what's more important to me. Is this cognitive dissonance caused by my old self? Still, it would be nice to get her number, though. Wait, I still need to look for my phone. I must have left it at home. I'm pretty sure. It's 3 p.m. now. Not much traffic on my way home. As soon as I arrive home, I start turning my house upside down, trying to look for my phone. Not here. Could I have been robbed? Nah. I must have dropped it on the way to Absurd's. I decide to give up on my search. I didn't have much time left. I clench and unclench my fingers, stressed. How could I be so careless? With a sigh of resignation, I call my network provider to report my missing phone. I grimace. I then open up my laptop to change passwords for all my social media accounts. I post a status telling my new friends to delete my old number. I hope someone actually reads it. So what do I do now? Hmm, maybe drop by the cake shop again to chat with the cake shop lady? I walk back to the cake shop. Strange, it looks like nobody's around. Hi, Kara, why do you look so freaked out? Oh, hey, hi, I don't know where she, I mean, Hello, cake shop customer guy. Nice seeing you. Where... who? Shop's already closed. I'm already on my two... Um... Glad you're here. You left your phone in the... I don't think I dropped it in the phone shop, Cara Genter. I think you stole it. I think you're secretly obsessed with me. Say something, Cara. Are you just gonna stand there and stare at my amazing abs? <laughs> <laughs> you left your phone in the cake shop. I was wondering when you were coming back. Um, my name is Kara Genter, by the way. Oh, Kara Gentner. Sorry, I read it as Kara Genter. I'm an idiot. Let me correct myself. Um, my name is Kara Gentner, by the way. It's only fair for me to introduce myself. Sorry, I already know your name. Had to go through the phone to figure out who it belongs to. I l what? How, how did you... I, do I not have a passcode on my phone? If I do, how did you get in my phone, Kara? I learned a lot about you. A little too much. <laughs> so it's only fair you get to know me, too. Oh my gosh, thank you. It's all right. You saved me a ton of trouble. Thanks, Kara. You're a great friend. I have to go. I have made a terrible mistake using the F word around you. Friend? Yep. Um, alright, yeah, I'll be your bestest friend, your only friend too if you want. I love you as a friend. Okay, made a great friend today, so how do I repay your kindness? Oh, oh my god, we can, um, go to the park? Watch the romantic sunrise? As great friends! Sounds good, Kara. We two are going to have a great time as friends! Yay, I love the friend zone! <laughs> God, this feels not good. Why are you staring so evilly at me? Best of all, there won't be any pests to get in the way of our love. <laughs> Lovely time, right? <gasps> Did she kill Mia because I asked her out? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I'm just realizing that if she is in fact a Yandere, <laughs> she might kill Mia because I have shown interest in her. Oh no, I'm sorry, Mia! <sighs> oh. Funny thing, I already announced that I lost my phone, so no text or calls tonight, I guess. Good, 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 good. Nothing suspicious with that.
We walk together and make our way to the park. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly dark. Kara isn't saying much. Maybe she's enjoying the scenery too. I bet you she's just been staring at me this entire time. It feels good being with her. A nice walk to end the day. Right now, I feel much more comfortable with her. I don't feel as awkward. I like her company. Even the silence was enjoyable. Thank you for taking me with you to the park. It's nice. So, how did your pitch with Absur go? I bet you impressed them, huh? No, the meeting got moved to tomorrow. To be honest, I'm still nervous about it. Eh? You shouldn't be. Don't pressure yourself too much. Don't worry too much. Whatever is meant to happen, will happen. Do you know how Absur Inc. is? They're a little hard to please. Why do you think I know anything about them? Well, since you work right across from them and all, maybe you got something? Yeah, I know about Absur. I played their games a lot. My favorite is this platformer game called... Um, it's called, oh, I'm bound to get this wrong, Proton Dead, Photon Deer? No, I don't believe it's either of those, even though you say that's it. I believe you're talking about ProtoDairy.ness. How the hell have you played ProtoDairy.ness? It was lost and uploaded to Facebook in a ROM dump. Okay, I'm not going to question things. Proto Dairy! It's called Proto Dairy Ness, Kara! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> but I assure you, I, my, what, if she's played Proto Dairy Ness, isn't she a little freaked out by the fact that the mother is literally in it, considering she introduces herself as Sarah Gentner? I'm not gonna, not gonna question it. I can't question it. I, I don't have enough evidence. Oh, yeah! <laughs> but I assure you, I'm a fan! It's a pretty good game, right? Playing it was all I ever did before things got complicated. Anyway, like I was saying, I really like it. So you originally were interested in the Absur company, and then you became a Yondere. Complicated? What do you mean? Well, I came to an age where I longed to meet my mom. You never got to meet your mom? Never. But life got even more complicated when... When when I lost all my friends. How'd that happen? They all died. It's the Yondere's that she's talking about because she's the last Yondere. Oh, shit. And if she'd never met her mom, was she taken away by Absur to become a Yondere at a super young age then? All of them? Jeez, I'm sorry, Kara. How did they pass? I just remember hanging out with them one day. Some of them died the next days. And the rest? The rest of them woke up dead. You, you don't wake up dead, Kara. I'm sorry, but that means their subconscious was extracted from them by the Trinemesis, potentially. The rest of them woke up dead. Wait, how does one wake up dead? That's what I'm saying! Because you're alive when you go to sleep. Wait, so by that logic, you can go to sleep dead and wake up alive? You can't go to sleep while dead. That's redundant. Okay, my head hurts. Oh no, is it my fault? Well, possibly no. You see, I'm not too sure if I should tell you. Well, if you feel like you shouldn't tell me, then don't. I feel like I did put you in the spot with all my questions. I do owe you some sharing of my own. Thank you. Don't worry. It'll all be kept secret. I lost my memories. I had a tumor of sorts. I forgot people. Events. I feel like an empty shell. I had no idea what I did then. Sometimes there's fragments, but nothing significant. I often feel uneasy about it, so I search for photos of me during that time. There are very few, though. Of course... People told me what I once was, but I feel like I was trusting them with my identity. I grew tired of people telling me who I am. I didn't want to depend on that. I prefer to make my own me. As you can imagine, I was depressed for a while. I felt like I had an empty mind. I felt hollow. 
Then I came across Abster's games. For some reason, I felt a real connection with them. I felt happy. A, a connection with Abster's games. Huh. Interesting. So that's the reason I wanted to work for them. You probably think less of me now, with that pathetic story. Huh. I'm sorry, that's pretty dumb. Just forget it. Actually, no. That made you ten times more interesting. I don't believe you. Think of it this way. You decided to build a new future for you. You freed yourself from the past completely. Master of your fate, if you will. That's pretty brave of you, too. Besides, you can make a whole set of new memories. But, of course one must realize no one is really free from one's past. You still have certain aspects to your identity that you can't let go. Ethnicity, family, people you've made promises to, debts, connections, everything else. It can all be bliss. Your life goes on, free. This is the deepest conversation I ever had. You don't know that. You could have had more edifying conversations before. You just don't remember. This makes me wonder too. If no one remembers a conversation, and it hasn't been recorded, did it ever happen? Well, in reality, it did happen in that case. But isn't reality constructed by our brains? What if... Never mind. Our talks seem to be both personal and philosophical. And you make cakes? You should teach! Baking desserts is not in any way less valuable than that of other jobs. I've never stopped dreaming of doing exactly that. I'm sorry, that was insensitive of me. I'm not too sensitive about stuff like that. Thank you. I may have literally forgotten my manners. I should thank you. I don't get to talk to people that much. Well, they're missing out. Don't flatter me too much. By the way, thank you for listening to all that. Sharing that made me feel good, actually. It's getting dark. We should probably head home soon. Yeah... I should prepare for tomorrow, too. Got other plans? Why the sudden rush? It's not you. Don't worry. I just hate it when cop cars make the rounds. I just, uh, have this unexplainable dislike for their sirens. Ears too sensitive because you are a mechanical weapon with sensitivity? That makes you good for hearing. For if you're being followed and stuff. Okay, then. No judgment here. See you around, mate. See you around, maybe, is what I should have said. See me at the cake shop tomorrow? I have to go. I enjoy spending time with you. You should go home now, too. See you tomorrow, Kara. I'll be sure to keep the convo topics like tomorrow. I... I have to go. Take care. Huh. I'm not sure why she was actually in such a rush. I didn't expect I'd trust her enough to share what I've been through. I like her. She encouraged me and didn't judge me at all. Fun. It's only been a day and I can feel our friendship blossoming. I wonder if this could lead to something more. I feel excited. Nah. I feel like it's too early to be thinking about such things. Expectations like this lead to pain and misery, as I've been told. I decide to look up Kara's profile. I didn't find any relevant searches. Practically non-existent. No social media profiles at all. Weird for a pretty girl her age. Other girls like her would have flooded their accounts with selfies at the cake shop. I searched census databases and records. None that would have matched her year of birth. Could she have given me a fake name? Maybe she has a boyfriend and didn't want me to find out. I hear a knock on the door. As I peek through the keyhole, I see a familiar face. The man who saved my life. Dr. Rothstein, the original dairy creator. Interesting. Good evening. I was in the neighborhood and I thought I should drop by. How is my favorite patient? I'm good, Doc. Never been better. Have you been taking the medication? It is imperative that you do. Of course, Doc. That goes without saying. Is there anything wrong? Oh no, child. Don't be so serious. Nothing's wrong. But, I have to admit, I did have a reason for coming here. 
I was wondering if you'd like to have another shot at flying the Tri-Nemesis. I think you'd be able to pull it off now. Tri-Nemesis? Is that the huge triangle thing? Correct. I thought I was too much of a wuss to pilot that thing. Well, you did go through a life-threatening illness, but I believe your mind is much more capable now. What does the Tri-Nemesis even do? It's a weapon, isn't it? Yes, a weapon. Something that can help us eliminate any and all threats to our world. Things are different now, child. At the moment, the tech only works with you. You have to have the killer instinct to be able to properly test those weapons. You used to have a lot of faith in the Tri-Nemesis research. Faith is always beautiful, unless it's misplaced. Tell me. You don't want to resist these responsibilities now, do you? Embrace, don't resist. We can't force you to use it. It only works when your mind isn't fighting against it. We need you to take this responsibility. I can't. I'm not ready for this sort of thing. I'm sorry, Doc. Maybe another time? I understand. As I said, I can't force you. But I know there's a part of you that wants to. Let it take over some time, okay? Well, I'll try, Doc, but don't hold your breath. Chapter 2. Interesting. I feel a sense of dread. Perhaps my anxiety acting up. I have to make sure I don't mess up my pitch later. I arrive at the cake shop a few hours before meeting with Apsir. I remember the promise I made with Kara to meet her. I'm astonished by how much I feel like myself when I'm with Kara. Maybe a talk with her could get my head straightened out. I check the cake shop. It was open, but there was no sign of her anywhere. That's too bad. I was really looking forward to seeing her. Oh well, I'll sort out my Kara thing later. Good afternoon, Mr. Guerrero. Nice to finally meet you in person. Okay. So, should we start the meeting now, or should we wait for Miss Mia? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not in the best of moods. Don't you watch the news? I'm sorry. I don't. What happened, sir? Kara killed her. Kara killed her because I showed interest. Oh! God, no. Miss Mia was found dead in a park not too far from here. Foul play involved. There aren't any leads. I intend to help local law enforcement as much as I can. That's shocking to hear. I don't know what to say. Say, weren't you having a nice chat with her yesterday? You invited her to go out with you, right? I can't lie to him. That would be way too suspicious. Yes, I did. I see. Well, no harm done. She did call me and told me about it right after you left. Not trying to play detective or anything. But I just can't fathom how something this horrible can happen. I want to know as much as I can about her last days. Hopefully I can find something that'll help the investigation along. Have you learned anything about her death, sir? Do I know anything pertinent that might help the case? I'd rather not say. Did Mia have any enemies? None. She lived a short and carefree life. Do I know anyone that would have had a motive? Well, I have a hunch. Just a gut feeling, I guess. What time did you come in here yesterday, anyway? Uh, it was around 2 p.m. because it was 3 when I left. Ah, yes. Just a few hours later, she was gone. I can't believe it. Huh. We were trying to contact you all day. Why did she have such a hard time? I lost my phone. So, you lost your phone, you say? Did you find it? Yes. And where did you find it? Left it at the cake shop. I apologize if I make you feel like I was interrogating you. I've been on edge all morning, and I didn't know who to trust. Uh, wait sir, I have something to say. Condolence to Absur, there's this girl, Kara. Would I really have suspicion about Kara? At this time? I mean, she did have my phone, so maybe, and plus she did have to go off, so I guess there's this girl, Kara. I think I may have met someone who might know something. 
Really? Who? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Her name is Kara Jentner. I didn't realize it until now. And why do you think she might know? She was jumpy and nervous when the cop- well, That's right! She actually said, I don't know where she- Ooh! She Did she do it before we went to the- To the park? She was jumpy and nervous when the cop cars were about to make their rounds. She even took me to the park. It just seemed like too much of a coincidence. And you think she might have been involved? I don't know. Maybe. I think the police should look into her. I'll call the police so they can get your statement. I hope it will- Holy fuck! Hi, Kara! Hey! I wasn't talking about you! What are you talking about? I said nothing about Kara Jekner possibly have killing Mia. I mean, what? What are we talking about, love? My love, how dare you betray me? Why would you do this? You killed him! Why? He was getting in the way of us being together forever. So did Mia. I knew it. She tried to steal you from me. Why would you ruin things? This is so disappointing. Why did you have to betray me? Help! We could have been so happy. Things could have been different. I'll miss you. Okay. Yeah, that's a bad ending if I've ever seen one. Do I have to restart? No, okay. I can just start chapter two over. All right, let's go back and not mention Kara, but we'll still be honest about the time. So I'm just going to go through this real quick. All right, I'll wait, sir. I have something to say. Condolence to Absur Inc. I'm not mentioning any names. I'm not mentioning any, any, and mentioning any names, Kara. We'll have the meeting at another time. Take care, good sir. Hey, what's that? Just as I was about to leave, I noticed an arcade cabinet near the exit. Despite its antagonistic appearance, it looked oddly enticing. I'm sure this wasn't here yesterday. I would have had this irresistible urge to play it. The feeling is overwhelming. I felt I should ask about it. Sir, was this arcade cabinet here yesterday? What game does it contain? That's an arcade port of progen Progenitor Dairy. Progenitor Dairy? Progenitor Dairy? I'm not 100% certain here. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. It was a game that Mia was quite fond of. Unfortunately, it stopped working years ago. So, it's here as a sort of tribute to her? She loved the game that much? Yes, instead of flowers and candles, Mia wanted something like this. She talked about it a lot. It's a shame that it stopped working. What's broken? Why not have it repaired? There's nothing broken. It feels like it stopped on its own accord. I would have done a lot with it, help further our game development. How can an ancient game like this help? It's the earliest stable version of Progenitor Dere. I'm gonna say Progenitor is how you pronounce that. It's called that for a reason. It's the ancestor game of all our Dere games, so it's where the code came from. Proto Dairy Alpha and our upcoming Dairy EXE and Dairy Evil EXE. All of them originated from this. I have to take a look. Save your energies. That's not going to do anything. I touch the cabinet and feel a sort of electricity coursing through it. I hear an ominous humming. I feel its vibrations. The game wakes up. The game is working after all. Someone will contact you soon for a schedule on our meeting. The way I wanted to play it! Let me play it! It's the earliest dairy game I want to play it! I want to see if there's any other spirits in it. The way Mr. Guerrero was staring at me. Again, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. I doubt he trusts me. Did you really think I had something to do with Mia's death? Maybe I'm just overthinking it. I did at one point think Kara was to blame. What's wrong with me? For all I know, Mia could have just been mugged. And then there's a part of me that thinks Kara killed her. An unexplainable dislike for police sirens? Then again, some people do have phonophobia. Who am I to judge that must be like a phobia to specific noises and bitches and- Hi, Kara! Coincidence of you being here! Hey, sorry I had to bail on you this morning. I had to do some pest control. Hmm. Getting rid of a body, possibly. <laughs> Pest control? Yeah, um, mosquitoes. Right! My house had mosquitoes, but 
They're all dead now. I don't feel like that's the truth, Miss Kara. Maybe she's just a hard-working woman? Hey, is something bothering you? You seem like you're worried. Is it because of the Absur pitch? How was it? If she knew about the things running on my mind right now, me as killer, and my intense curiosity for that arcade game, she'd be weirded out. Uh, yeah. My meeting got postponed again. One of the Absur employees was murdered. Why do you mention that in front of the killer? <clears throat> yeah, I can relate. That's so inconvenient. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll get the chance soon. More time to prepare, right? I guess so. I really enjoyed us hanging out yesterday at the park. I haven't really gotten the chance to explore the town. Wanna walk together? Sure. It seems I lost track of time with all my thinking. How did we end up here? Hey, are you alright? You've been spacing out all day. Are you tired? You can head on home. It's okay. No, I'm good. I'm sorry. I must have been still affected by what happened with Mia. Oh? Why? Did you like her or something? You didn't, did you? Not that I'm bothered by that or anything. Not at all. I did think she was cute. I sort of planned on flirting with her, but I didn't really like her. I feel off talking about her like that now. I guess it's just surreal, all of it. One moment you're talking to someone, the next moment you find out they're gone. I see. Hmm. Maybe to cheer you up, we talk about something fun. Hmm. Like, uh, you got a favorite color? Hmm. I guess sometimes I like a particular color, but I'd never really stick with one. You? My favorite color is, I would assume, I would usually say red, but I have a favorite color combination that I will go for over red, which is black and red. That, that a good enough answer for you, uh, Kara? I'm noticing your glasses are red, so clearly that's, a fa that's you know, you're happy about my favorite color being potentially red. <laughs> I get, hi, hey, are you sure you're not listening if that is what made you choose, <laughs> choose the color? That is disturbing me. That is disturbing me. Close, <laughs> exactly the color I chose. I guess I kind of like red, because people are filled. Oh, wait a second! You're referring to blood. I don't like that. I guess I kind of like red, because people are filled with them. It's a very passionate color. I'd paint my walls red if I can with blood. Ah, interesting set of reasons there. You know what? You're just interesting in general. Oh, you too. You know what? Everyone is unique. You most of all. I'm not sure if that was a compliment or not. Thank you nonetheless. I assure you it was. I'm sorry. I get kind of nervous when people compliment me is all. I just... There's another potential reason I just thought of uh, that she's worried about cops. She is the last Yandere. What if the police actually are hired and worked for uh, Absur or Rochstein Institute to find her because she's not supposed to be on the loose, maybe. Just just thinking, because all the other Yandere's are dead, right? Well, I hope you get to know me better. I'll always visit your cake shop, Kara. So that means we're dating now, right? Where did you get that assumption? We are? Because you'll see me more often, and we'll get to know each, each other better. Yeah. Guess I'll be eating more of your delicious cakes then. Oh, so we're just eating. Cool. Cool. All right. <laughs> Another eventful day. That was a roller coaster ride of emotions. I should head on to bed soon. I'll be seeing Kara tomorrow. Was it just me or did something flash by the doorway? Editor, me. Play that back if there was something in slow motion. Zoom in on it. What was there if there was something there? I don't know because I haven't edited, edited the video yet. My eye catches something on the floor. Huh, I don't think that's mine. A tooth? I decide to throw the- no, 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 sir. You put it under the pillow and that's how you get a dollar from the tooth fairy. Or a quarter in some cases. I decide to throw the tooth away. I need to go to sleep. The past days have been especially tiring. Hi there. Refreshed from my sleep, I feel very energetic on my date with Kara. Seeing her smile like that makes my heart happy. We take a few selfies together in front of the cake shop. The photos were all cute. 
almost like a perfect couple. Officer employee, nice running into you, sir. Mr. Guerrero says he'd like to have a meeting with you tomorrow morning. Okay. Uh, you got yeah, why? She was. She is just telling me about my meeting, Kara. You do not need to pay. Where did you pull that out? Where was that bad? Okay, that sounds great. Thank you. See you there. Who was that girl? Why did she approach you? I need more information. Cut it out, Kara. She's an employee at Appster Inc. Don't worry. What you hiding behind your back, my dear? That's vague. I need more information. What for? Just a little general cleaning. Uh, okay. Anyway, I might need to head on home. I need to prepare for the pitch. Hey, before you go home, why don't you try my new recipe? But it isn't your ordinary cake. It's very, very special. Does it have a tooth in it or your hair? Mmm, wow, this is good. What's in there? Well, there's some apples and some cinnamon in my hair. What? The DNA in general? Hopefully it's not the love cookies from that one anime. Your cookies have my love nectar mixed in the dough! Y yes sure. It's not laced with anything, right? <laughs> I hope she didn't take that the wrong way. It sounded like a joke, right? I hope it did. Very funny. Of course it ain't silly. You'll love this cake. Every other cake would taste like dirt after eating my cake. I made sure it had all the finest ingredients in the cake world. When you take that first bite, I assure you it'll taste like heaven. Just one bite and you'll go crazy with sweets and flavors swirling in your mouth. It tastes so delightful it sends chills down your spine. Okay, Kara, you really sold this cake well. I'm in. I want this cake ASAP. She shouldn't be overselling that cake. What she should be doing is to lower expectations so as not to disappoint. So, do you like it? I already ate the cake. Oh, I did. Best in the world. I loved it. Yeah, I knew you would. Listen, I've been going through a lot. You don't know it yet, but you made me feel okay. I mean it, and I know this sounds crazy considering we just met, but for the longest time, I felt so empty. Because she didn't have a senpai assigned to her. For the longest time, I was in a trance, but you made me snap out of it. You are special to me, more than you know. I knew you were the one. I finally found you. The one I've been waiting to spend my whole life with. Kara, why do you even like me? I'm a perpetually single loser and I got nothing. That doesn't matter at all. I just love you. There, I said it. And in this crumbling world, I want you to be by my side. Are you sure? This feels a little too fast. I'm no expert. But it is all so sudden. I am. I love you. You don't need reasons for that. Can't you love me too? Please? Kara, I don't know you well enough. But despite all this, I want to know you better. And once I get to know you better, maybe I'd love you. You actually said it! Yes! Please let me be your girlfriend, and we'll see where this goes. What do you think? Just because I'm interested in what will happen. No. Yeah, I figured as much. Why did I click it? Wrong decision. I'm sorry, my love. You're confused. Your brain is making you say the wrong things. I may have to do a manual restart of your brain. This might hurt, my love. But we'll be together soon. <laughs> I shouldn't have clicked no. Okay, I'll, I'll be back. I gotta go through this again. Alright, let's be smart and not anger the yonder this time by saying yes. Um, sure. What am I doing? Did I just agree to be in a relationship with a woman I don't know? This is amazing. I might be the insane one here, but I guess it couldn't be too bad. She is kind of cute. But what am I doing? I'm not really sure how to handle someone like her. Did I just let my hormones betray my rational thought? This is the happiest day of my life. Please, please be for real. Don't play with my heart and don't ever leave me. I never thought it would go this way. I'm sorry for- Wait a second. I'm sorry in advance for what I'm about to do. I love you to death. 
Wait, what? I'm sorry, what the fuck just happened? What? How did I get home? Wait, it's the morning of the meeting? Already? How did that happen? I'm almost late. My eye catches something on the floor. The tooth from the other day? I was so sure I threw that tooth away. I decide to throw it out again. Chapter 3. What happened with Kara? I made it just in time. Finally, I'll get the chance to impress the Absur Dev himself. I've got a good feeling about this. The reason you should hire me is... Spare me your practiced spiel. I will hire you. Only because you were the only person to have made progenitor dare work again. Game stopped working a few seconds after you left. I want you here every time I experiment on it. Capiche? Understood, but can I play the game? The curiosity overwhelms me, sir. Go ahead, but don't expect much. It's a corrupted monstrosity. Honestly, sometimes I wish to destroy that cursed thing, but I can't. I feel like the secrets within it would give me the knowledge to make the next Dare games even greater. Once again, I hear the ominous humming. The game looks primordial. The game turns on. I feel like my head is in a vice. My head is throbbing, but the excitement consumes me. Warning! This game is not for the faint of heart. User discretion is advised. Progenitor Dare. Insert coin. My name is Airy? A A I R E and not Ave or Aid? So I don't know how th this game works because I can't see the map until I walk by it. Also, the character sprite looks completely different from. You're making excellent progress through the game, I think it said? I am amazed. Perfect. I am absolutely amazed with the Absur teams. I used to just refer to it as one person, but I've recently realized Absur does not singularly refer, refer to Guerrero. It refers to the entire team. And I'm astonished. I don't know if... Guerrero is the only one in in department for the the games and other people are marketing or something. Uh, but actually, uh, the other person wasn't responsible for making sorority rights, so clearly that's not the case. I am astonished with the team's ability to make games that look like to make the NES game, to make this arcade game so like graphically and and sound like a game from those ages. It's such a cool thing. I love when people retro, like, design games to be retro like that. So they said be careful, but what am I supposed to be careful of? I have not seen a single enemy. Like, you can see how this sprite goes and becomes the sprite for Dairy EXC, but it does look completely different. Not only the fact that it's red, but just it's square, not a rectangle and all that. What's with the sound? What is with the sound? Do, Do not let them get you? Who the hell is them? Who the hell is them? Air? Air? A A I R E? I don't I don't know if it's A I A I R E or maybe it's Yeah, it's got to be air, right? I'm not seeing any enemies. So, who does they refer to? Do not let them get you. Who is that referring to then? Because it's not an enemy in this game. Is it Rochstein? Is it Yandere's? Who is they? Who is them? Do not die. Okay. Okay, so here's the thing. This, the, the dialogue definitely shows uh, what eventually becomes the evolution of aid. 
because these are lines that I, I believe were said in both Dairy EXE and Dairy Evil EXE. Nothing. Try to be quiet for whenever the, the AI speaks. Which, how the hell did they make an AI actually um, for a game this old? What the fuck? I was not prepared for... I... Do I have to restart? Am I at the first level or am I at the level that I just died at? I think this is the first level. No? No, the first level didn't have this layout. Right? <laughs> Stop doing that! Where, 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 how do I- Okay! Oh my god, I did not expect this to go... This fucking crazy... Uh, this quick. I, I don't know why I jumped up, I knew... I knew I would die. <clears throat> okay. So, now them... Does have a presence, so maybe it's not actually Apsur. But it is this creature that is definitely giving me a run for my money. Oh god, I can't. Okay. Alright, diamond, diamond, diamond. It's about time that I mine the diamond. Are there any... Do not die. I... Okay, I heard you. I heard you. I can make absolutely no promises uh, about that. But I will try. To not die. I didn't die. Are you ha are you proud of me? Who the fuck are you? I want to touch you. I want to touch you. I probably shouldn't, but I want to. Oh god, I can. <gasps> okay, no, no, I tried to jump over. There wasn't a path to jump over. Ooh, what the fuck? Are these supposed to be here? Oh god, I can't. Oh god. Okay. Okay? Oh god, make the path. Make the path. You need to go back because I need to jump on that path. Please be a hole. There's a hole! There's a hole. There's a hole. It's a hole in the bucket. Okay, okay. Oh, there's the diamond. Okay, just don't fall. Just don't fall. Okay. 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 I know, I, I get who they are now. They are absolute nightmares. They are going to haunt my dreams. <laughs> There is a monster inside of... I can't tell if it said me? Or just hiding in the maze. I can't tell... Entirely what was said. If it's me, it's talking about the AI. Okay, well, there doesn't seem to be a monster in this. <gasps> Bye! Didn't know you were there! Oh my god! Alright, let's light up the path a bit. Jesus Christ. Hey, you can go over holes, that's not fair. Diamond? Oh god, no, don't be another one up here. <gasps> There's one up there. There's one up there. I don't like him. Please get thrown of the way. Okay, I can jump over him. <gasps> Fuck you! Oh, I didn't know I needed to run. Now, some might say that the loud noises 
I have to go, I have to go, I have to go, I have to go, I have to go! Ah! Some would say loud noises in that are very cheap, but I would argue that this sets up... I, 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 I need to not think for a moment. Go, 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 He's catching up, fuck! I would argue that because the atmosphere of the game being the silence, and you know, like, it's an old arcade, it's, it's corrupted and all that, that the noises are not cheap jump scares, but show a corruption. Dirty diamond! Is he, is he here? Why did he, why did, why did I hear it already? Oh god, I don't know if it's already, ooh, the diamond, the diamond, the diamond is there. I just need to get it. Oh, I can't go that way. These diamonds were found also in. I know what you did. You killed her. You killed me. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Who? Who is speaking? Because that is a present time. That is not a simple AI. If it's I killed Mia. That is from present time. And it might be referring to either Kara or Lilith's brother because he technically was involved by fl uh, flirting with Kara. I mean, uh, with Mia. What if this AI is built from the Trinemesis itself? Because we know he has a connection to it from the tumor, and that's why he's allowed to hear play this game. What if it was created by the Trinemesis? And not simply the Rothstein Institute. And this was maybe their very first attempt at getting consciousness into a game. And that's why it allows him to play because he's connected to it. Oh, there's a fucking answer for me! To try now. Help! 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 Okay, that game is 100% connected to the Trinemesis. And I'm assuming it is the only stable one because it was the only one that the connection was completed. Now, is the Trinemesis something that originated from the virtual world or something that originated from the real world? I'm not 100% certain. Let's continue. <clears throat> I wake up unable to move. I couldn't remember where I was or how I got here. I attempt to stand. My wrists were stuck. I looked down and noticed my entire body tied down to a chair. Huh? What is going on here, Kara? Why have you tied me up against my will, Miss Kara Chipster? If you think this is fun, Rope Stuff, this isn't. We're not there yet. I guess that tumor-like device in your head synced with the game, huh? Darius was beating you up when he found out about Mia. What is this, Kara? Well, come to think of it, maybe that thing in your head is made of the same stuff as the arcade game. Huh, that explains a lot. Still, Darius says you're still hired. He says he still needed you. Guess ambition trumps everything else for the dev, huh? What did she mean by tumor-like device? Am I in a dungeon? Are you going to kill me? Where are we? Relax, sweetie pie. I'm just making sure you're safe. Safe from what? Safe from the clutches of ladies who try to steal you from me. Isn't this a little extreme? You haven't seen anything yet. I'm prepared to go all out. I will do anything to protect my man. And if you think anyone can stop me, who? What the fuck? Absur Inc. attacked by UFO. So this is when she killed every a ton of people. Uh, see, me calling it the mothership isn't that far of a reach now because they just called it a UFO. How did I get home? I noticed something on the floor. The same tooth. Why does it keep coming back? I threw it away, right? Did I? Little bro, thank god you're safe. D dungeon Dungeon? 
The officer building exploded just an hour ago. It was all over the news. I was so worried. No. But I heard the news. I just had to go home. I've been calling you non-stop since this afternoon. S sorry Why doesn't your phone ring anymore? Now I had to cut my outing short. Whatever. I'm just glad you're okay. Don't scare me like that, okay, bro? G girlfriend A little off timing with the news there, baby bro. You have a girlfriend now? You? Wow, I've been gone a whole week. P pictures Okay, let me take a look. I didn't know you were the type to take selfies with his girlfriend. You hardly take pictures of yourself. Besides, I'm sure she's ugly. But whatever, let me see. S see? You're all alone in these pictures. It's because of his tumor that he was able to see Kara. Okay, that changes things. Kara is connected with the Trinemesis. <clears throat> Kara is potentially already in uh, in the vat that we see her in in sorority rights then. And she was reaching out digitally, and that's why when we last saw her, she glitched out. And the trinemesis is obviously what attacked Absur. And I'm assuming that was Kara because, you know, Darius attacked uh, her senpai. You're all alone in these pictures. Just you. There's no one else in here, brother. Please tell me you're choking. Please. Is everything fine? Oh my god. We have to see the doctor. Alright, brother. Hang in there. I'm gonna look for Doc. Take some medicine. We're gonna get through this. Everything's gonna be alright, baby bro. Your sister will make sure of it. If this has something to do with your brain tumor, we'll just make it go away again. Okay? You have to be strong for me. You are the only family I have left. Doc will fix you up. I know he can. I'm sure he's here. Everything's gonna be alright, baby bro. Your sister will make sure of it. Just stay here for a while. I won't be gone long. Is that... Hi! Kara? Oh, hi! Okay, Dr. Rushton. Ah, good work, Lilith. It seems like the medicine worked exactly as we predicted it would. So it wasn't making it go away, it was strengthening his connection to the Trinemesis, and thus his connection to Kara, which is why he was suddenly able to see her. He's completely catatonic. Are you sure he's able to control the Trinemesis weapon? He already did. That attack on Absur went exactly as planned. Well, actually, the performance exceeded our expectations. Transferring cars con- Oh! Shit! Transferring Kara's consciousness into the device in his head? Outstanding move! You are a genius! Okay, so we have the truth of why he's been able to see him. They are electronic devices, but it wasn't him that caused that attack. I'm sure of it. He was knocked out. He wouldn't target Absur. It had to be Kara because that device in his head has connections to the Trinemesis. Well, that's one way of getting a killer instinct. Oh, 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 that makes so much sense. She's a killer, so putting her consciousness in him gets him that killer instinct. But I still think it was her taking control. <clears throat> well, that's one way of getting a killer instinct. Putting a killer's consciousness in your head. Indeed. I was astonished at how he knocked the teeth out of me in the... <sighs> okay. She was never present there. She's been taking control of his body. Oh my... God, that's why it said, I know what you did, you killed Mia. It was referring to him because Kara took over his body. Oh, this is genius. I love this. All right. Indeed, I was astonished at how he knocked the teeth out of Mia in the park. Well, technically it was Kara, but still. 
Now, with the Trine Nemesis under Kara's control, the end of the world is at hand. A new world shall take its place. Once the world witnesses the indestructible Tri Nemesis unleash its wrath, the world will unite. A world ruled by one government. A world with a manageable number of people living in paradise. Chaos brings peace. Destruction births new opportunities. I don't care if our organization disagrees. It's the right time. Absur, Jaeger, and Jones. They can't delay us any longer. The Guidestones in Georgia have given us guidance. So, Absur, Jaeger, and Jones are both separate companies, then, that, I guess, are working on simply the games and shit, um, and not, you know, the whole bringing the consciousness of people virtual. Doc. Who would have thought that Kara would be the key for us to save humanity from itself? When we ended the Yandere experiments, I knew Kara was worth saving. But I must admit, I find it funny that this man here was falling for her. Did he really think she was real? How desperate. He basically fell in love with his altar. Now don't be me. He couldn't discern what was real and what's not. What's the difference between reality and imagination, anyway? Yeah, I know about the brain hallucinating conscious reality theories, but still, what a weirdo. That Kara's consciousness is as real as ours, Lilith. A complete duplicate of the real Kara Gentna. Eh, what if this Kara rebels like the other one? The device that houses her is programmed to delete her should she rebel against our orders. Thanks, Doc. Shall we begin preparations? Yes, the end of the world is upon us. Rejoice! And there's the Tri-Nemesis. I, I... I pressed space, I just did, did something terrible. That was merely a demonstration of Tri-Nemesis. Soon, a new world will arise, and we will be its creators. <clears throat> um. Let your mind stay at our cake shop, my love. Let it relax. It'll be over soon. Liar! Yes, I knew you way before. I've always had a crush on you. Turns out the blank slate of you was more open to someone like me. That's not what this is about, murderer! Really? This was your plan. You promised to do whatever it takes. You wanted this. I am a pawn. Do not blame this on me. No. No. This isn't right, Kara. You have to trust me. I don't think I could forgive you if... Really? And what if you get your old memories back? You'd hate me for stopping you in the Rochstein Institute! You know what happens if I don't obey orders. I will get deleted. Not only that, You'd remember me as someone you hate. Either way, it's a lose-lose situation for me. I'm not sure that's a risk I can take. Please be rational. After this event, the whole world will have less women for me to compete over too. You know you belong only to me. You know I don't deserve deletion. You know I can't take the risk. Please understand that you've already made your choice years ago. I told you, I want to start a new life. I've changed. This is not what I want now. Aside from with that, you are obsessed. This is not love, Kara. Love starts when manipulation stops. I know my glitching nature freaks you out, and you hate that I kill people, but please, cut me some slack. I did everything I could so we could be together, because that's all I could ever have. What would happen if you had fallen for Mia, or anyone else? I'm not as pretty as other girls. Life would have been meaningless. You are literally the only person in my world. You're all the friend I'll ever have, and I'll ever need. This is too much. You can't end the world because I used to want it. Things change. You really believe I'll forgive you if you push through with this? You can stop now. But the risks... Kara, I know you've been put in a tight spot. I'm sorry, but you have to do the right thing here. Kara, there is still a way back from this. We can forget all that's happened here. We can put this all behind us. Maybe I can forgive you. 
Maybe? You expect me to risk my life? Risk the past you hating me? And all the family's plan on a maybe? That's the real institute. That's the real government that she's talking about. The family's ideal government. I guess that's what love is supposed to be. I just wanted to be happy. Promise me you'll find the real car for me, okay? Please take care of her. Come here, love. This is my happiness. This is where I belong. Now, Trinemesis, show your true power. N no Impossible! How are you still speaking? I'll take it from here, love. What the hell? How did you sound like Kara? I won't let you end this world. Impossible, Kara. Don't you dare! If you continue your insubordination, you will die. I am prepared for that. I already had my happy ending. You stupid idiot! Oh, what? I guess this is it. Farewell, my love. Kara. The death toll surpassed the 10,000 mark. The media blamed the catastrophic event on a power plant disaster. Unfortunately, the public believed the sinister cover-up. Whoever is pulling the strings is still out there. I started working with Absur Inc. as a design consultant. Despite the busy schedule, I ensure I have enough time for my promise. Kara once said that it would be nice if I could take care of the real Kara. Well, I often wonder if the real one would want that. That's the true ending? Okay. Okay. So is L so Lilith and Rothstein is dead? Right? Who are you? Who who are you? <laughs> what? No. Kara. Is it really you? Kara will return in Dairy EXE Dairy Vengeance. Hey, the last year on Dairy Part 2. Alright, that might give us some more answers. I didn't know they were making a part two to this. I knew about Dairy Vengeance. Oh! They just confirmed that she is coming back, so... Right! So Aid really did revive her in Dairy Evil EXE. Huh. Well, that's way in the future. So, the thing we still don't have the answer with is how did Kara end up in Dairy EXE then? Because Kara, Miles, and uh, Yana are all in Dairy EXE. Now, it could be because the Tri-Nemesis is connected to all of the Dairy games, and the subconscious was brought from the Tri-Nemesis, but I'm not entirely sure. We might get more answers in the other games that we play, because there's a few more to play here. But, with that being said and done, that is the last Yandere visual novel. Yeah, that's, that's, that's everything. So... That does answer some questions. That answers the whole the whole Yandere project. Uh, that answers where uh, where Kara came from. That answers how, uh, what the tumor was. It answers where Dare Exe came from initially. But it doesn't answer what was with that first AI. Why was it that smart? It doesn't answer where the Tri Nemesis came from. Obviously, Rothstein. Uh, knew about the Tri-Nemesis, but did they create the game from it? I don't know all the answers yet. I will make a theory video eventually, but like I said, I have to go through uh, the rest of the games, uh, the YouTube videos, and the books. Uh, well, book. So, there's a lot more Absur games to come. Uh, this is the main focus of my channel right now, uh, because I just upload two, video uh, two gaming videos a month. I want to make my way through the Absur series. So that's right, no longer the Dairy EXE series, the Absur series. So, with that being said, this has been The Last Yandere. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.